Our Sunday School lesson this week takes a look at the works of Jesus being questioned by the religious leaders. The religious leaders, they were curious as to who gave Jesus the authority to do the things that he was doing. Our lesson this week follows up in scripture that is outside of our lesson where Jesus had healed a man who was lame. He told this man to take up his bed and to walk. The man, he did just that. The lame man, he took up his bed and he walked. And this should have been a moment where the people rejoiced. It should have been a moment where the people were happy for this man who was lame, being able to get up and being able to walk around on his own two feet. Yet the religious leaders, they took this moment to be upset. They were angry and they were frustrated that this man was walking around with his bed. The reason why they were frustrated, the reason why they was angry was because this man was doing work in their eyes. He was doing work on the Sabbath and this was a no-no in their eyes. So they confronted the man. They asked him why he was doing exactly what he was doing. The man had been healed and he told them that he had been healed and they had asked, well, who healed you? Who told you to do what you're doing? Who told you to take up that bed and who told you to walk? Eventually, the man told them that it was Jesus who had healed him. It was Jesus that had told him to take up his bed and to walk. The religious leaders who were already angry, who were already upset with Jesus, they took this and they sought even more to persecute him is what scripture tells us. They went and they confronted Jesus in his actions, in his healing, in his telling the man to take up his bed and to walk. And in confronting Jesus about the work that he had done on the Sabbath, Jesus, he said to them, my father has been working until now. Every Sabbath, my father has been working and Jesus saying his father, it did not go over their heads. They understood well that Jesus was talking about God and Jesus had said to them essentially that God is my father and the religious leaders, they did not like that as well. And at that point they sought to kill Jesus. So not only did the religious leaders decide to persecute Jesus, they hated Jesus so much that they wanted Jesus to be killed. They wanted Jesus dead. And so that's where our Sunday school lesson in our scripture day, that's where it picks up at. Jesus, his authority has been challenged. His authority has been questioned. The religious leaders, they have confronted him. And Jesus, he responds to their questioning, their challenging of his authority by doubling down on the fact that yes, he is the only begotten son of God, and he works by the authority that has been given to him by none other than the father. That's what we see there in the 19th through the 23rd verse there, where Jesus, he likens himself even more to the father. He says there in the 19th verse that the things that the father does, I do as well. We take a look there specifically at the 19th verse, and we'll see Jesus say, most assuredly, I say to you, the son can do nothing of himself, but what he sees the father do. For whatever he does, the son also does in like manner. Look at that 20th verse. Look at what Jesus says there in the 20th verse. He says there, For the father loves the son and shows him all things that he himself does, and he will show him greater works than these that you may marvel. The works that Jesus was doing was the works that was given to him by the authority of the father so that the people could look to him. Again, let us remember the message that Jesus had for the world was to repent, turn away from wickedness. And so we saw Jesus in his ministry. We saw him teaching. We saw him preaching the word of God. We saw him healing. We saw him performing all sorts of miracles to get people's attention, to draw them away from their wicked ways and to turn to the Lord who was doing all of these things before them. Let us remember again that Jesus is God in the flesh. Jesus is God manifested in the world to reveal to us his truth so that we can turn away from our wicked ways, trust in and believe in and depend on him. Look at what Jesus says also there when we take a look there at the 23rd verse where Jesus says there, in the, I'm sorry, the 22nd verse, Jesus says there, for the father judges no one, but has committed all judgment to the son. Again, after Jesus was crucified, after he was buried, after he was resurrected, Jesus, he rose from the grave saying, all authority has been given to me. The father has given Jesus the authority to judge all people. Let us remember what is said in scripture 
at the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow, every knee will bow, and every tongue will confess. Believers and non-believers, they will go before the Lord and they will be judged. Believers, we will go before the judgment seat of Christ, where again, we will confess all things that we have done. We are going to be rewarded for our faith. The non-believers, they will go before the great white throne. And again, they will be held accountable for all that they have done in the world as well. So again, the religious leaders, they were challenging. They were questioning Jesus' authority to do the things that he was doing. And Jesus, his response to them, I have the authority. It has been given to me by my father. Yes, I am the son. I am the only begotten son of God. And I am going to judge everyone. And that's what we see Jesus speaking on there in starting there in the 24th verse, where again, we may question, well, who is Jesus going to judge? Well, the only begotten son tells us exactly who and what he is going to judge us by. He's going to judge us by whether or not we are of faith or not of faith in him. Again, we'll see Jesus say there in the 24th verse, Jesus, he says, most assuredly, I say to you, he who hears my word and believes in him who sent me has everlasting life. Doesn't that sound, sound like the third chapter of John's gospel and the 16th verse where Jesus said to Nicodemus that again, whosoever believes in me will not perish, but have everlasting life. If you heed his word, if you accept his word, if you trust in his word and you have faith in him, you will not perish, you will have everlasting life. That is what Jesus is going to judge the world by. Did you believe in him? Did you believe in his word? Did you live your life according to his word or not? If you did, you will have everlasting life. If you did not, you will not have everlasting life. And we'll see Jesus say that just here in our scripture, where Jesus, he says there in the 25th verse, he says, most assuredly, I say to you, the hour is coming and now is when the dead will hear the voice of the son of God and those who hear will live. We'll then see Jesus say there in the 28th and in the 29th verse, he says, do not marvel at this for the hour is coming in which all who are in the graves will hear his voice and come forth. Those who have done good to the resurrection of life and those who have done evil to the resurrection of condemnation. For all of us who have heard his word, believed it, accepted it, and lived by it, we will be resurrected unto everlasting life with the Father in heaven. All of those who rejected Christ, they will be risen from the grave unto condemnation. There is salvation for all of us who have heard his voice, all of us who heeded his voice, there's condemnation for all of those who heard his voice, but rejected his voice. Again, this is given to us by the one who has all authority, the one who's going to judge the world, Jesus Christ. So the religious leaders, they were questioning Jesus's authority. And Jesus said, hey, I have the authority and this is the authority by which I am going to judge by. Are you going to get correct or not? That is a question that was for the religious leaders. And that's a question that all of us must answer today as well. OK. All right. So that is our Sunday school lesson for this week. What did we learn? Well, we learned this week that all authority belongs to Jesus. All authority has been given to Jesus by the father. And in this authority that has been given to Jesus by the father, we have learned that again, Jesus is going to judge. At the name of Jesus, every knee will bow and every tongue will confess. The third thing that we learned here today is that Jesus is going to judge us by whether or not we were of faith. If we are of faith, we have learned today that we'll have everlasting life. If we are not of faith, we have learned today that we will be condemned. The Lord is going to cast us away from his presence for all of eternity. Okay. All right. So that is our Sunday school lesson for this week. I hope that you enjoyed this lesson and I hope that you'll share this lesson with someone somewhere. And I hope that you'll come back for our Sunday school lesson 
next week as well. Until that time again, let us continue to keep one another lifted up in prayer. You never know what anybody is going through. So certainly let us be prayerful for all of those that are around us. And again, let us continue about in grace and in love. That is our calling as a child of God to love our neighbors as we love ourselves. Until next time, I will be doing the same. I'll continue to keep all of you lifted up in my prayers. And I pray that the Lord continues to keep and to bless all of you.